Hey guys, welcome to Fate Hunters. This is a deck building strategy card game, uh, much like Slay the Spires, if you're familiar. Uh, basically, you're given a, a, a small amount of basic cards to start with, and you fight monsters, get through different rooms, and essentially get a random, uh, random set of cards that you can select from. Um, and those cards are generally... I, I only have one character unlocked, but I'm assuming... Each character will have their own set of cards that you can get. They'll each have their own theme. Um, like this first guy, the Inquisitor, he's basically like a paladin, a uh, fanatic warrior of the Inquisition who is endowed with the divine power of healing and destruction. So he does damage, but he can also heal himself. Um, and they each get their this own little special passive thing. It's kind of cool. Uh, you can spend gold to unlock different characters. So this game is currently in early access. It's being published and developed by Tower Games. Uh, so we're just going to jump in and, and check it out. I've already played one run just to get a feel for the game. It's definitely very Slay the Spires. Uh, so basically what we're looking at right here is is our basic deck. Like this is, this is what I have right over here. Uh, so very basic stuff. Punches. Um, Light Lance, which is pretty good, you know, and then some different utility type of stuff. Uh, and you can spend gold, like I got 25 gold in my run, so you can spend gold to unlock these uh, in your collection, which I'm assuming means I haven't unlocked anything, but I'm assuming if I unlock something, I can start with it uh, instead of starting with the most basic stuff. So it's kind of a way to build progress with specific characters and start off a little better than just the most basic stuff. But we're gonna save our gold, and we're gonna start with the most basic stuff. So let's let's get on in there. Uh, so basically, you draw five cards, and there's no casting cost, or you know, you're not limited by energy. It's whatever cards are in your hand, you can cast them, which is pretty cool. Um, and then next turn, we'll drive draw five more cards. Uh, this this is it. This is pretty much the game. So these are the the enemies we fight. Their their basic cards. The art style is pretty awesome. Very darkest dungeon feel. Uh, animation is a little lacking, which you'll see in just a second. So we're gonna try and get a crit on this guy. All right, we only did two damage. That's a little unfortunate. Um, but we can kill this guy. So unless uh, unless a character says regeneration on it, whatever damage you do will carry over between rounds. So you can, you know, it's not like you have to do five damage to this guy to kill him. You know, you can do five damage. Well, you still have to do five damage, but you can do five damage over uh, a couple turns. Uh, so these are one use items. So basically once you use it, it's gone from your deck forever. So I'm not going to use those. All right, as you can see, it was very basic. Like he, his card just came over and touched my portrait, and uh, that's how it does damage. You know, it's fine though. Like it's uh, you know, it's more about the gameplay in this type of game anyway. If you're in the if you're in the card card game type stuff, uh, trophies. So this this is just like generic cards that you can uh, you can take at the end of each round. And this is a good one, so I can explain treasure. This is how you get money. So we can put this in our deck. It doesn't do anything. It's an item. So we draw it. It's kind of a dead card unless we have a card that interacts, like lets us discard it for for something. But once we're done with the dungeon, if we survive, we get 10 gold. So you need these in your deck to, to get the gold. Um, but you don't want to stack your deck with treasures. Otherwise, you're not doing anything. All right, so these, this guy's not nice. Aura, all other creatures get plus one attack. Well, that's that's not cool. Let's try and kill that guy. All right, we only did two damage. So this has critical strike, so there's a percentage of, percentage of chance that it'll do, do more damage. But let's just go ahead and get rid of that guy. Oh, yeah, and as you can see, you gain experience. So in the middle of combat or anywhere you can hit the little plus symbol and now you get another card. They're usually a bit better. So Sanctuary, restore two HP. This turn, last word is always activated. So last word, basically if you, if your hand is empty and you cast the card with last word, there's usually like an additional effect like heals more or draws a card or whatever. So this just automatically triggers it even if you don't have an empty hand. 
Sanctification is pretty cool. You discard a card, and depending upon what it was, it does different things. Like a treasure card, like that dead card we were just talking about, we'll gain 5 HP if we can discard it. Or if we discard a weapon card, we'll do 2 damage to everything. Or if we just discard a random card, like a, like a different item or whatever, or skill, we just draw another card. I don't have any weapons right now. Uh, and the, the best part about this card is you can do the AoE damage. So I think I'm going to skip that one this time, even though I really liked it my last run. Uh, Rite of Cleansing. So this also has last word, but it deals three damage to a creature, and then you mill yourself, so the top two cards of your draw pile go to the discard pile. And if it, if it, was, our, if it was our last card in our hand, we'll do it again. So doing three damage with the skill is not bad, but I kind of I kind of want to try this one. So we'll take that. Goes in our discard pile. We'll be able to use it eventually. Uh, we're just gonna do one damage. I'm not sure if this is good enough to save. Uh, I can reduce all their damage by one, so it'll prevent two damage this turn. I should be able to kill him next turn and prevent another damage. So that'd be preventing three damage. I'm not sure if it's worth it to use right now. Of course, we'll be down the five or so. So we always want to draw cards first. So we get to choose one. That might be good. I think we'll just take punch to do damage though. So we can kill him, draw a card. Oh, so we got it anyway. Uh, so we'll do two damage. I guess we'll just do it. Heal back up to full. That's fine. Oh, he, oh I'm glad we healed because he just did crit on me, which does double damage. Um, so is there anything, okay, so let's do that, oh man, well, I was hoping I could do something where maybe I could draw some cards and heal, but we just killed them. We'll take another one of those, we'll take one of these, that should combo pretty, pretty good with that uh, Sanctuary, because this will basically put five cards in our hand. And every time we cast them, we can draw a card. So that's a nice little combo right there. Yeah, so let's try it out. So we'll we'll gain two life. Everything has last words. So five daggers in our hand. Let's draw a card. Draw that one. Uh, go ahead and kill him. And now we just have a bunch of damage we can do. Oh, we got a nice crit. Did another crit. And another crit. Uh, Executioner, deal six damage to a creature with two or less attack. Banish a non-boss creature, you lose life. This turn, if you lose HP, instead you restore that much. Yeah, let's get that one. Um, we'll get that. Ooh, a shield. Gain a shield. Draw one less card next turn. That's fine. So I'm a little confused on that the interaction of Sanctuary and that, that dagger bill. It didn't work exactly how I thought it was going to. Well, this is not good. We can only really do one thing. Since we have two of these, I guess we'll go ahead and use it and prevent some damage. That didn't really do anything, but I think we got experience for it. All right, so let's draw a card, do some damage. Uh, all right, and we can just kill them. Whoops. Uh, do we want that? Do we want a dagger? Yeah, let's take a dagger. It's fine. Oh, we didn't gain XP. I was hoping we'd gain XP from just casting another card. All right, so what is this? Uh... 
three, four, five, six, seven, possibly nine damage. We have shield. Um, I think we want to go ahead and kill that guy. We could crit and kill him, but we have a shield up, so we might as well just kill that guy. Oh, it did crit. Oh, well. Man, we have so many of these daggers now. All right, we'll gain some life. Uh, let's draw first. Act of faith, sure. I guess last word only works with skills, is the deal. I don't want that. Maybe want this? Yeah, let's, sure, let's take it. Ooh, there's another one. Silence everyone, banish. Uh, let's do another act of faith. I don't know. I don't even know if that's a good card. Hard room, easy room. Huh. Uh, let's do a hard room. This might go bad. We might die right here. Okay. Endurance. Can't be stunned and attack can't be reduced. Well, that's uh, that's not good. All right, let's do some damage. Uh, and let's put a shield on. We'll save that one. Uh, this is good for us. If we take damage, we'll uh, gain life instead. So let's draw a card. Sanctuary, perfect. Draw a card. Uh, do some damage. Some last word action going on. I don't want to use that. We'll gain life instead of taking it. So, that didn't work. Why did that not work? This turn, if you lose life, if you lose HP, instead you restore that much HP. Oh, so I guess it's only if we do the damage ourselves, to ourself. Well, that's a lot worse than I thought. Let's get some potions. That didn't do anything. Draw two random potion cards from your draw pile. Man, I need to start reading these cards better. Well, either way, we win here, or at least beat this guy. Here's some fancy weapons. Ritual damage. One damage to a creature. Restore one HP. Deal one damage to a creature. Draw a card, then discard a card. Hmm. Let's go with the HP plan. Yeah, we'll take them both. I'm probably... I really shouldn't be stacking my deck like that, but... Oh, gosh. We're at the boss already? We're going to take four to the face. All right, well, we can do some damage here. All right, so he shields every time you hit him. So we'll punch to get rid of the shield. Do a crit. Draw a card. All right, we did quite a bit of damage there, but we're going to take four to the face. If we can't heal, we probably just lose. Draw a card. This is useless. Uh, it looks like we die right here, probably. Get rid of the shield. Get rid of the shield. Draw a card. Oh, yep. Oh, there we go. <laughs> it's a combo. All right. We survive another turn. We need to heal at least one. All right, so game two. Uh, do one damage, gain a life. Perfect. Draw a card, and then... Oh, that'll let me draw another card. This'll do a bunch of damage. I think I want to draw a card. Okay, well, it all equaled out the same. Right, four damage. Down to three. We have to kill him here, or continue to... Uh, 
continue to heal. I think we can. I think we win right here. Nope. Oh no. Crit. Are we one damage short? We're one damage short, and he's gonna kill us. We died. We died! Oh, that's unfortunate. We shouldn't have done that hard room. And two of the cards, I misread them, and they were basically useless to us. Alright, so we got nothing. We got nothing for that. Brutal. Roguelite. Uh, Roguelite mechanics. We get nothing. But we can just jump right in and do another one. I still think I want to save my gold. There's nothing really interesting that I want. I mean, I could get like one of these. So we should definitely be more selective on what items we put in our deck. So we kill this guy, kill this guy, perfect. Move on to the next room. Deal two damage, uh, yeah, we'll take it. It's a one use of, kind of feel like you could just take all of those one use items. Oh, those are fast. That's not cool. All right, let's let's draw a card. That's fine. Um, so we'll do damage here. Kill him. This turn, if you discard a card from your hand, deal three damage to a random creature. Eh. I like this one. We should definitely get more. Or prioritize getting skills. I think we're good like that. And all we have to do is that. Yep, we'll take it. It's a one use. Gain five experience. That's pretty cool. Ooh, got a big guy there. Choose a card from your hand to discard. I think this one. We'll definitely kill him first. He's annoying. Uh, let's activate potion or damage. I think we'll just get damage. Alright, let's kill this guy. Potion. Do damage to him. Heal. Uh, we'll have to save that because we'll only gain one health from it. Hmm. Alright, we'll heal. Damage him. Draw a card. Don't really have much to combo with that other card. Oh, we got a crit. Nice. It was a nice hit. One damage to a creature and adjacent ones. Or we could start with a diamond. Let's get the diamond. And that one. Well, uh, Alright. And I'm, I'm kind of doing the same thing I said I shouldn't do. Just stacking my, my deck with cards. But I have, I, have a, I have quite a few one-use items in there, which I should go ahead and start using. Restore one HP. This turn, your next weapon card is played three times. Ooh, that's fancy. Last word, deal six damage to a creature. Deal 12 damage to a creature and four damage to your hero. Let's do this one. Uh, we'll do a normal room. Alright, so we can... Let's draw a card. Let's uh, damage him. That's fine. We'll gain 5 XP. Punch him. Punch him. Power grows. Let's see what else we can get. Deal 5 damage to a creature. Discard a card. Last word, you lose two life. Interesting. Restore two HP. Last word, additional four. Interesting. Restore one HP X times where X is the number of cards 
you discard it. I like this one. Of course, that, that'll do damage to me every time. This will combo better with that other last word enabler. Let's, yeah, let's do that. Uh, we're going to go ahead and restore this HP. It wasn't fully effective. We only gained four, but... All right, so let's gain some life and do some damage. This is, I feel like this is a pretty good medium, medium damage guy. Uh, I'm not gonna go for that. I wish I could look at my deck. What does hide do? Oh, okay. Oh, okay, that's how we look at our deck. All right, so this will combo well with that mace, blessed weapon. All right, because we're already up to 15 cards, so really we're at 13 cards. So I think I do just want this mace, and we'll skip and move on. All right, let's draw a card. Take, huh? Let's see if we can get the last word effect. Well, I get. Oh, that's not gonna draw us any cards. Let's heal up to max. We'll do damage to this guy. He has regenerate. I mean, these aren't gonna do us anything. We just. Okay, we gained a bunch of no health. All right, there's our diamond. All right, so let's do a damage draw card. Kill him. If we crit, that'll be nice. Come on. Oh, there it is. Deal one damage, draw a card, discard a card. I think we'll skip. Uh, let's do an easy room so we don't absolutely get blasted. Deck's not especially powerful, I don't think. Oh, there we go. Can do triple. Let's draw a card. Take that one. Gain an XP. So how does this work? Your next weapon card is played three times. So if we do that... One, two... Three... Okay, well that's cool. Yeah, we'll take it. Are we at the boss already? Looks like we are. Well, we have a whole bunch of last word... Last word cards. This is not gonna be... Not gonna be helpful. Not helpful at all. When this creature takes damage, you lose one HP. Well, they just play all our cards. Just can't can't do much. That RNG was pretty bad. Oh boy. All right, so we'll punch him, kill him, and draw a card. Let's reduce his each or his attack by one. We'll do a damage. We take damage, restore five. Let's reduce his damage again, draw a card, uh, punch. All right, well, I'm gonna hit him for three. And then I'm gonna try and do a crit here, no crit. I'm not gonna use these because I'll take just as much damage as him and I'll lose that race. I need to draw one of our heals. All right, so there's there's that one. Sweet, okay. Up to 12 again. So now I'm kind of okay with doing three for three. He takes three, I take three. Cause he's just gonna do one damage a turn to me. I should be able to draw heals. All right, uh, let's just heal. Heal again. And that'll do, that'll be cast three times, so we win. 
Got him. Um, definitely take one of those. Upgrade all non-legendary weapon items in your hand. I wonder if that's permanent. I'm not going to take that because I don't want to add five of those daggers to my deck. At least I feel like I think that's how that worked. Deal three damage to a creature. If it's a boss, deal five. Ooh. Restore HP. Draw two additional cards next turn. That's nice, too. Choose an adventure. I have no idea what that even means. Choose an adventure. I really want to try that. I really want to try that, but I feel like this is... Uh, this is good. All of these are good. Holy crap. Let's... Okay. Just for curiosity, we'll choose an adventure. Whatever that does. Fortune teller. Choo uh, okay, this is basically like a shop. Uh, we can heal the full. Increase our max HP by one. I want to get rid of one of those punches. Delve a heroic skill. Choose one card and add it to your hand. So fate will give us a, a passive ability. Let's uh, let's roll the dice and get a fate. Whenever you play the dagger card, draw a card. Play the top card of your library revealed. At the beginning of your turn, you always draw exactly five cards. Huh. Well, can combo with dagger. None of, I don't think any of these are all that great. Maybe moon, so we just always see what's coming. Yeah, let's try it. All right, I want to exile one of those stupid punches. Get out of here. Uh, we will continue to go forth. So basically, if we die, we lose everything. Here's our adventure card. I have no idea what's going to happen if I cast this. Summon a dragon, draw five cards, add treasure to your hand. Spawn three hounds. Three hounds, draw a card. Add a treasure to your hand. I think this thing summons a, the, the mimic. Which I'm very much not ready for. Especially since I'm going to take four to the face right now. Uh, I think I'll wait until I have a nice item in my graveyard. So let's just heal. Heal. I don't have any... Any way to, or any weapons to upgrade right now. Um, I guess we'll just do a damage to this guy. Hopefully, we can do four damage next turn. This is not gonna, this is not gonna go well. Down to five. All right, so I should be able to kill him. Let's draw a card, and we can heal. Perfect. So let's do damage. Draw a card. Kill him. Do damage. I could draw six if it. Well, no, this treasure's in the way. So let's just gain two. It's fine. Uh, we'll gain two, two, and then kill him. Move on. Heavy axe. I don't want to have twenty-five cards in my hand. Or in my deck. So it'd only be good if you have a giant deck. Let's not get that. So this repeatable adventure card is gonna get out of out of control here, I think. So I'm gonna troll draw cards, so I'm gonna dragon draw five, restore four HP. Oh, well, that's good. Let's restore four. Draw a card. Uh, 
Let's do some damage to everyone. And then we'll kill the guy in the middle. Oh, they moved together. That's not how I wanted that to go. Well, let's just play our cards. That's fine. I need more of these last word cards for this to be better. Right now it's pretty much just been a, a gain two, gain two life. Draw a card. Kill him. Kill him. Come on. Curse shield. If you have curse, if you have a curse card in your deck, gain a shield. Well, we don't have that. Uh, we'll just take the one use thing. Skip that curse shield. Oh boy. We are, uh, we're getting kind of crazy here. I have literally no action in my hand either. Well, let's reduce all their damage. Do I have a weapon that I can get? Yeah. Two weapons. All right, let's go ahead and do this. Oh, I should have done it the other way. Ooh, legendary. Let's take that. Let's take two blood drinkers. Oh, that's not going to work. All right. So whenever this creature's, creature attacks, exile. I don't like you. I don't like either of you. I can exile my, my cards here. So let's do triple attack on him. This is useless to me right now. Please don't take my good stuff. Punch. Okay, that worked out. No! My adventure card! Alright, let's upgrade our stuff. Man, they took our adventure card. I'm really upset about that. Oh, man. I have to kill him. I have to kill him or I die. Well, I can do five damage this way, and then, man, that's uh, that's upsetting. Well, let's try the crit first. Ah, oh, we got it. Sweet. Okay, this can kill him. Okay. That can kill him. I need to hit my heal cards. I don't think I want either one of these. Oh, something mysterious and dangerous. Well, dangerous is not good for us because we're about to die. Let's do a normal room. We'll be a we'll be a scaredy cat and do a normal room. You lose two HP. I don't like that. Do some healing and I guess kill one of these guys. You lose 2 HP, gain a shield, eh. Reduce attacks for all non-boss creatures by 1. Last word, restore 2 HP. Deal 3 damage to a creature. If you if you restore 4 or more HP this turn, then your the next card you play... Wow, that is like a whole bunch of complex combo. Let's do this one, I guess. Deal 2 damage. Um... Not, I've been holding on to this for a while and I've not found a good opportunity to use it. What is this? Oh, deal four damage. All right, let's draw some cards. There we go, that's good. Deal two damage. All right, I guess we heal for two and then do, do a punch. Add two random item cards to your hand. Eh, no thanks. Hard room or mystery room? Ah, jeez. Well, let's check out a mystery room. Because either way, I don't think we're surviving. Let's see what happens. Junk man. What's this? Let's draw a card. 
yeah, I guess we do four damage, one damage, one damage, three damage, and we'll heal up. That was pretty good. Finally got to use that with last word. He escaped. Oh, it looks like we had to do a whole bunch of damage to him to get whatever it is. Oh, man, I should have cast that restore. Oh, well. Oh, no. Discard a card from your hand. All right, well, diamond and punch. That was rude. All right, at the end of this turn, transform this creature into another random one. Hmm. Well, I guess we do this. Uh, we'll do four damage here. Hopefully it turns into a not good random one. Alright, restore one HP. Add a curse card to your pile. Uh, that's not great. Well, let's see what we get. Oh, lose one HP. That's fine. Stun all creatures. See how much treasure we have right now. 25, just 25. I don't feel like my deck is all that strong. So maybe we just get the two one use things and not the treasure. And we'll skip it. Goblins. Can go ahead and do that. Kill him. Uh, I'm not going to do this yet. Or maybe I should go ahead and do it since I'm only going to take one health. We'll roll the dice and hope that we get some healing next. Next, uh. Or draw some healing this turn. Down to three. Alright, sweet. Okay. So we can draw a card. We'll heal. Heal. Double heal. Awesome. Up to full. All right, now we have that blood drinker maxed out at five damage. There's no loot in this room. Well, that sucks. Oh, there's our little passive ability. Oh yeah, I totally forgot we can see the top card over here. Oh God, what am I even facing against? Discard a card at random from your hand when you kill it. Huh, well, let's draw. Ugh. I'm gonna have to spend two cards on this guy. Um, well, gee, I guess we'll do that. Oh, perfect. This is good. This is a good one. Not yet. Let's kill you. Oh, here we go. That works better. Uh, there we go. We figured it out. Gotcha. Deal three damage to a random creature. Oh, and we'll kind of keep getting it back. I think I do want this. Dark Knight, Shield, Ooze. Huh. I guess we, we have the boss next round. Stun all creatures. It doesn't say non-boss creatures. I think I want to save that. Uh, so let's go ahead and kill that guy and we'll just reduce their damage. Hmm, well. We'll heal, reduce their damage, and then just attack. It's fine. We should be able to start the boss at full or close to full health. Uh, let's draw a card. 
Sweet. Okay. Um, kill him. Just go crazy with heals and then just do damage. Oh, we got a curse. I don't think I want that. Iron will restore one HP X. X is the number of discards. This turn, if you discard a card, we don't really have any discard. Oh, here's the last word. Not the greatest, but um, sure. I guess we'll take that. We don't have any discard mechanics. Mad Mage. At the end of this, wait, what? At the end of the turn, play a random card. Who plays a random card? Me? I think I'll take damage right now. Damage, 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 damage. Down to 20. Uh, I don't care about that right now. Oh boy. Oh. Well, that's not, that's not fun. All right, we're gonna stun him. You've been stunned. I don't know if that'll prevent him from, uh, from doing his passive ability, though. All right, let's heal. Uh, that that kind of takes forever. Uh, I really didn't want to discard that one. Do three damage there. This is fine. Uh, he's still got to do it. So that stun did, did nothing for me. This is a lot of damage right here. Two, three. All right, I think we got him. Boom. All right, trophies. That's a lot of trophies to choose from. Uh, let's exile. Oh, wait. Is that a repeatable way to get rid of cards we don't want? Huh. That's kind of cool. Yeah, we'll take that. We'll take that. Sure, we'll take some coins. I don't really have much discard. Yeah, we'll skip those. Next. Back to the fortune teller. Uh, I think we'll do the same plan. Oh, maybe we should spend a point on healing. Let's check out a passive. Wheel of Fortune. If if your card deals random damage, then it always deals its maximum damage. Increase cri critical tra uh, critical strike chance up by 50%. When you discard a treasure card from your hand, get a token. When you get nine tokens, they are removed and your maximum HP is increased. When choosing skills and delve, you are given a choice of five cards instead of three. Uh, sure. Um, do we risk it? Yeah, we do. Let's get rid of another punch. Get out of here. So 55 gold, or 52 gold. So we already have 25. I really wanted to work on unlocking the next character. But what's the fun in that, right? Hmm. Do we stop here or do we keep going? Uh, if we keep going, we'll probably die and then get nothing. So if we stop here, we'll be up to 77 gold. We can either unlock something for this character or keep working on unlocking the next character. Eh, whatever. Let's go forth. All right, let's draw a card because I like that card. We'll do two damage here. Aw. See if we can get a crit. Nope. Okay, well, whatever. That's fine. 
Everything's fine. We'll take three damage. Exile a card from the discard pile. Well, I don't have anything I want to exile in there yet. Let's just do three damage. Sure, we'll take one one use things. Dark Knight, Troll, and a Hound. All right, let's start with random damage. Okay, Hound is down. Uh, I should have punched it first. Well, let's punch him. Do damage. Oh, yeah, it doesn't work on him. Okay. Treasure got in the way. Oh, man. All right, so we'll heal here. Heal a bunch. Heal some more. I think I'll take a damage to get rid of that stupid thing. And then uh, triple attack. Six damage to creature. Add a curse to your discard pile. We have that card that exiles things. Eh, not so sure about that one. Do we want another AoE attacker? Could add discard. Let's add discard because we have those treasures. Sh should probably prioritize discard more. At the start of turn, increase attack of random creature by two. Yeah, we don't like that. Oh, we can do this. Oh, wait. Is that worth it? Let's do this one so we can draw, draw a bunch of cards. Oh, wait. That's a skill, not... Yeah, whatever. All right, so let's do this one instead. So will do triple. He'll be dead, he'll be dead. If we crit, we can kill that one. Is there anything we want to exile? Nope. This is not working as great as I thought it would. I guess I just make sure I can finish him off. You know, getting rid of three damage would be much better. Yeah, let's just do that. It's fine. Oh, I could have switched their health and killed them for sure. All right, let's draw a card. We'll take that. Gain two life. Kill, kill you for sure. Kill you for sure. Can draw a card and discard a card. Doesn't matter because we randomly got both our treasures. All right, so we'll punch. Uh, do some healing uh, man I really want well I guess we can't I can't get rid of this I want to trigger this last word last word but it's not gonna not gonna happen I guess all right that that little animation needs to go much faster. No curses. Uh, deal two damage to a creature if your deck has 15 or fewer cards. Draw a card. Huh. I like that card. Maybe I should just start thinning my deck with that exile thing. Let's just get it just in case. We'll take that too. Skip. Reduce attack of a creature by two. Restore two. Place a non-heroic skill from your, uh, eh. Deal two damage. Return to your hand all cards from which, from your discard pile, which were discarded this turn. Deal two, draw a card. I like that one. 
We knew a mystery room again. That wasn't as scary as I thought. Exile a random card from your hand. Well, that is not cool. Let's draw a card. Ah, oh, man. Uh, draw another card. Jeez. Gotta think about which cards we want to, or we're okay with losing. So let's do that. Um, I think we'll do that one, and then we'll kill, kill him, and I'm okay if I lose either of those. Okay, sweet. Is there anything I'm okay with getting rid of in here? Daggers, maybe. It's upgraded, though. Man, I... I'm really not big on this card. I there's probably something I'm missing, but I just don't want to don't want to exile all my cards just to draw a card. All right, here. Oh man, I'm gonna I'm gonna lose my treasure. I don't want to lose any of these cards. I'm saying that right now. Oh, bye bye treasure. Uh, we'll take stun. Um, yeah, I don't want to put anything else in my deck. This is okay. We're, we're going to skip it all. More curses. Whenever this creature takes damage, discard a card from your hand. Well... Let's see what this gets us. Oh, jeez. Discard diamond. Damage here. We'll discard that. We'll just we'll just use that one. It's fine. Punch and damage. Oh, we have two curses now. Trophy. Yep, we'll take that. Escape from tower. Keep all your gold. Huh. I, I could just do this. Stack it way up. And then just escape. Sure. I think that's the plan. Uh, mystery room? Stranger. Exchanges treasures for items. Uh, no. I want to keep all my stuff. Because I want to escape. No thanks, dude. No thank you. Alright, let's see if we can get our thing. Let's gain some experience. Doesn't matter. What does this do? Oh. Well, let's do damage there. Oh, wait. What did I just do? Uh, I guess we'll go ahead and do that one. Then punch him. We'll discard no cards. Uh, draw a card. Alright, where is our thing, man? Let's gain some life. I guess we just kill him. Uh, whatever. Discard a card. More treasure. Skip. Easy room. Alright, where is our escape scroll? All right, we're gonna just gonna stun them. Uh, I might as well do damage. It's fine.
There we go. Alright, we're gonna escape. Take all our gold and run away. 130. Sweet. That's exactly what I wanted. I wanted to unlock this guy. Arcanist. Master of arcane magic. Uncontrollable and destructive, but all the same unstable. But at the same time, unstable and treacher treacherous that can betray at any time. Choose one. Cards with this ability have two effects, but only have one will apply. Sounds pretty cool. Let's unlock. Sweet! We did it. We unlocked a character. And we played this game for just about an hour. We did two runs. It's pretty fun. Uh, it's very Slay the Spire-like. Has its own little dark and gritty theme, which I really like. Reminds me a lot of uh, Darkest Dungeon, the art does. So let me know what you guys think of this game in the comments. I'll probably play some more. Um, let me know if you want to see more, more videos of this, and I'll, I'll surely make them. So thanks for watching. See you next time.